Hey everybody, good afternoon. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you guys? Hey, fine, thank you. And you? Listen, we're doing so well, thank you. How was your weekend, guys? I mean, okay. Fabulous. Um, excellent, that's, that's wonderful. We have Alexandre, Vanessa, Jose Mario, Jeremias, Laura, Claudia, Elizabeth, Soraya, Lady. Joanna, Sarai, and Alba right now. Well, Ken, how was your weekend? Was everything good? Did you enjoy your, your weekend? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, perdón, uh, dice, teacher, que en mi plataforma aparece dos veces el curso intermedio. En uno he ido avanzando en las tareas, pero en el otro está como en blanco. Entonces no sé si puedo dar de baja a ese. No hay ningún mm. problema. Dos veces le aparece, dice. Sí, dos veces me aparece. Y en uno sí aparecen las barras de las tareas, pero en el otro aparece en blanco. Hmm. Bueno, si gusta, podemos hacer un, algo. Probablemente que sea solo algún error con con uno de los casos, con uno de los grupos, ¿verdad? Si lo tiene dos, dos veces, lo tiene repetido, probablemente vuelve un error. Pero, si gusta, voy a pedirle de favor que, bueno, una que tal vez usted, si gusta, puede contactar a una autoridad de un operativo para preguntar acerca de eso. O si no, yo lo puedo hacer. Pero, sí, porque... Porque aparece la opción ahí de cancelar suscripción, pero no sé si el otro también se me vaya sí. a dañar. Bueno, hagamos una cosa. Eh, me, me escribe por de forma personal sí. y me envía, me envía capturas. Voy a yo a reenviar para que revisen y, y saber si, si no hay ningún problema o si puede, no sé, eliminar alguna de ellas. Bueno, ¿a qué correo? Y ahorita se lo comparto si quiere. En bueno, chat, se los comparto igual a todos. Gracias. Ya. Yeah. Ok. ¿Cuál es mi email address? All right. Eh, ya. Yeah. Dime su información, las capturas y yo lo voy a consultar. Muy bien, gracias. Yeah, you're welcome. Igual, si alguien más les, le aparece así, me puede enviar, eh, bueno, voy a hacer pasar la consulta, ¿verdad? Pero por si alguien más le aparece así, by the way, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to, you know, a new class. We're going to start in a few minutes. Here, right now, Alexander is asking me about the platform rights. Hace un momento me preguntó Alexander acerca de la plataforma. Me comenta él que le parece... Eh, dos veces el, el curso el módulo pre-intermedio 1 en la plataforma. Es que si a alguien más le parece sí, bueno, él me va a enviar, me va a enviar la información, perdón, por, por correo para yo poder consultar, porque si no, en ese caso no les recomendaría probablemente eliminar una de las, de las dos, ¿verdad? Porque pues no voy a hacer que, que genere, como se me decía, que genere ese que elimine las dos, ¿verdad? Que no se preocupe. Envíeme la información, yo lo voy a, a, voy a consultarlo. E igual, si alguien tiene algún problema, eh, probablemente ahora o entre, mañana le voy a notificar. Dígame, Dalia. Fíjense que en mi caso, este, yo he estado trabajando los, 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 los homework, en, en, el, en los homework, y este, en el 1. Punto, permítanme. ¿Cuál era? No sé si este 1.4 creo que era. Son los primeros ejercicios. Sí, sí 1.12, perdón. Este, 12. Me da 12, 1.12 en la primera. Son, son las, ajá, en esta. En la, are you from the United States? Mi respuesta fue, no, I am not. Y, por, y en la segunda, is your teacher from Canada? 
No, he is not, fue mi respuesta. Y no, no me las acepta como, sí. como okay. buenas. Y... O sea, está tratando, incluso poniendo yes y, y nada, ¿no? Poniéndole punto al final, nada, no sé. Sí, sí, comprando. Eh, con respecto a este ejercicio, me, me, me consultaban eh, dos personas, me equivoco. Eh, la semana pasada me comentaban de, del problema que tenían. Sí, en efecto. Eh, bueno, sus respuestas están, están bien. Lo que sucede acá es que el sistema pues ya tiene las respuestas, sí, las respuestas, así es que, bueno, ahí cargados, ¿verdad?, de la plataforma, son los que eh, ellos ponen las respuestas, ¿verdad? Eh, en el caso de la primera pregunta, por ejemplo, ¿Are you from the United States? En este caso, pues, las preguntas son personales acerca del, del módulo de las clases, ¿verdad? Así es que probablemente ustedes hayan puesto no, I'm not, y está correcto, porque son respuestas cortas, y es no cuestiones. Eh, pero en ese caso, en ese caso, eh, por eso les, les, les comentaba, permítanme, permítanme, por eso les comentaba que leye, leyeran ese, cada aspecto, porque acá dice, yes, no, long answers would be. En ese caso, eh, sí son yes, no questions, y por lo general son respuestas cortas, pero para eso que hacemos vamos a utilizar las cosas largas para yes no questions. Mm -hmm. Es okay. que por okay. eso, por uh -huh. eso acá era no, I'm not from the United States. From the United States. Ok, voy a probar de esa manera porque sí. Y ya no, pasó lista. No, aún no, aún no, no se preocupe. Eh, he empezado con la plataforma porque algunos nos preguntaban al inicio, ya les comento. Y bueno, en especial con este ejercicio, ¿verdad? Me, me preguntaban. Y acá lo que sucede es que les decía, leamos cuidadosamente la, las instrucciones primero. Y es no, long answers to be. Es decir, vamos a utilizar just no questions, pero con respuestas largas. Respuestas largas. Es que seamos cuidadosos. Si ustedes pusieron no, I'm not, eso es correcto. Porque es una respuesta corta. Por lo general, repito, las yes no questions se obtienen respuestas cortas, sí o no. Pero en este caso vamos a utilizar respuestas largas para yes no questions. Pero son, probablemente les salió, les haya salido mal para después acá, porque ya el sistema, las personas encargadas de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Quienes se encargan de todo ese, todo ese proceso, ellos ya ponen las respuestas. ¿no? Ustedes dijeron, no, I'm not. La respuesta, repito, es correcta, pero en este caso, que son yes, no, no answers to be. Eso debería ser. No, I'm not for the United States. Y así debe ser con las demás. Eh, quiero hacer una aclaración con la, la pregunta 2. Is your teacher from Canada? En ese caso, pues, como nos referimos a, a acá, ¿verdad? A, a, la, a la clase, el módulo. Y algunos han puesto, ¿verdad? No. No. Y dicen probablemente. Y está correcto, ¿verdad? Pero como deben ser respuestas largas, no, he, is, he isn't from Canada. Entonces, lo que sucede acá es lo siguiente. Eh, probablemente quienes, eh, en este caso, la plataforma, ¿verdad? No les va a aceptar esa respuesta. Y es porque han puesto she. Eh, no sé, quizás se confundieron. Pensaron que la, en este caso, el facilitador, la facilitadora de, del módulo, era una mujer, entonces por eso pusieron esa respuesta. Así que se los comento para que ustedes lo, lo hagan con, de esa forma, con respecto a, esa, a ese ejercicio. De ahí los demás sí debemos hacerlos eh, con respuestas largas. ¿verdad? Que seamos cuidadosos, leamos todo. Leamos acá y leamos las instrucciones. Porque eso no, es clave. Dígame. Eh, ok, muchas gracias. Dice, eh, lo que pasa es que utiliza el apóstrofe, pero no el que está en la tecla de donde está el, eh, también, la pregunta. También, y también. a veces también lo pide contractado. Sí, bueno, de hecho acá en las respuestas, eh, yo tengo el, el acceso ¿verdad? a las respuestas, pero yo lo que me gusta hacer es leer, leer primero, de que se trata el ejercicio, 
y pues yo luego veo las, veo las preguntas, las respuestas, las respuestas. Eh, yo acá les puedo mostrar las respuestas, lo puedo hacer. Eh, pero quiero que lo hagan ustedes. Cuando yo le digo contractado, no, solo exacto. es la partecita del, del to be. Ajá, sí, sí, esa, exacto. exacto. Ajá. Sí. Sí, lo y que a veces como... es la tecla, esa tecla que, que está a la par. Bueno, yo en mi teclado lo tengo a la par del cero. Sí, sí, sí. sí. No, ajá. Por eso es que a veces no, no lo identifica. Sí. Eh, lo que... Una sí. observación también. Eh, cuando ponen la primera, no, I am not from United States, no, no sale tampoco como buena. Probablemente si no. Si la no. largo, la ponen Pro, por probable, hay, hay varios aspectos acá. Bueno, buen punto. Varios aspectos acá. Probablemente no han puesto el punto al final. Probablemente no han agregado el diario da. Probablemente estén utilizando United States, una de las dos palabras con minúscula. Recuerden que los países en inglés van con mayúscula. Que revisemos esos aspectos. Igual lo que mencionaba la compañera con respecto a la, la apóstrofo. Eh, en el teclado hay dos, no el apóstrofo, sino que por lo general en el teclado nosotros utilizamos el, de, el que es la tilde. Este, y ese es incorrecto. Tan, no se lo va a tomar como bueno. Porque el, el apóstrofo es el que mencionaba ella, el que está a la par del cero. No sé, clados. Por lo general, creo que la mayoría son así. Pero en, la, en las laptops, por ejemplo, es así. El, el apóstrofo es el que aparece a la par del cero. Bueno, está el signo de pregunta. Si, si damos clic a esa tecla, a esa tecla va a aparecer el apóstrofo. Si utilizamos la, la tilde, eso es el, de la tilde, en ese caso en español, ¿verdad? Eh, algunos lo utilizan como apóstrofo, pero no es el apóstrofo, la tilde. Que seamos cuidadosos en esos aspectos. Igual con el spelling, en el, en el caso de la, la forma como escribimos también las palabras, a veces ya es, probablemente se nos vaya así, en minúsculas, y lo va a tomar como mal. Porque los países van con mayúsculas. Y al final el punto, no lo olvidemos, la coma acá también, no, coma, o yes, the coma, e igual que en United States, por lo general, ese país, pero va con ese artículo, solo da. Es que esos aspectos tengámoslos en cuenta y nuevamente seamos cuidadosos, veamos primero el, el título, digámoslo así, es no longer answers will be, y luego acá, ¿verdad? Esos replies. No sé si alguien más tiene dudas o preguntas. By the way, good afternoon, one more time, because I know that some of your classmates join us in a few minutes. How are you guys, by the way? How are you? Everything okay? Everything all right? How was your weekend? Did you have a, an excellent weekend? It's, it's fine. Okay. That's Very cool. good. All right. Listen, eh, I'm going to pass attendance. Eh, remember, as soon as you listen to your name, stay present, right? And then you can ask me your questions, of course. Let's go. Adam Patrice. Adam? I can see you. I'm sorry, I am present. Okay, okay, thank you. Alexander Marroquín? Present, teacher. Thank you, Ana Silvia. Present. Thank you, Carolina Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Thank you, Claudia Elizabeth. Present. Claudia. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Claudia Lisset. Present. Thank you. Carlos Jose. Present, teacher. Thanks. Talia Lilibet. Present, teacher. Thanks. Para Alicia. I'm here. Thank you. De qué Guevara. Here. Thank you. Hazel. Present. Here, Jeremias, Rivas. Present. Thanks. Joana Raquel. Present, teacher. Yeah. De Mario. 
Mr. Mario? Present, present okay. teacher. Thank you, thank you. Kenya Salina? I'm here, teacher. Lady Yulisa? Present. Here. Liliana Amelia? Present. Great. Marina Sanabi? Marina Sanabi, sorry. Present, teacher. Okay. Ricardo Albino? Present. Okay. Sandra Melissa? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Saraya Esther? Present, teacher. Okay. Saraya Lisbeth? Okay. I can see you, but I think you have some issues with the microphone. You can have problems with the microphone. Present teacher. Vanessa de Angeles. Present teacher. Susana Carolina. Present teacher. Katiana María. Katiana María. Here. Let's continue with Leonel Hernandez. Present. Here. Laura Bertila. Present teacher. Here. Alba Patricia. Present teacher. Thanks. And Eric Rivas. Eric. Here. Ok, aquí no he mencionado, no sé si se me escapó alguien. ¿Alguien que no he mencionado? Vamos bien ahorita. Ok, bueno, vamos a continuar. Si alguien más tiene dudas acerca de la plataforma. No, teacher. Thank you. Ok, recordemos. Recapitulemos. No olvidemos leer primero las instrucciones y luego pues completar. ¿verdad? Si hay igual hay dificultades, si hay algún problema con algún ejercicio, no dudemos en preguntarle. Ya por WhatsApp, en el grupo, o puede ser de forma personal. Vamos a la orden. Aquí vamos a continuar. ¿Qué eh, más? Si se me trata algo antes de continuar. Iniciar. Um, well, si se me ha olvidado algo, lo recuerdo, les comento, okay? All right, let's begin. This is class number three. Today is Monday, July 19th, 2021, right? Today's topic is W's questions with B, right? So this is pre intermediate one. This is what we have for today, okay? Let's begin. Let's start with the way we structure WH questions with B. Let me ask you something before to, to give you the formula. What is the verb B, guys? What's the verb B? Um. Yeah, um. Are. Or. Are. Is. Is. Exactly. Is. This is the verb B. Okay, we can say this is the, the verb be in present because we have different forms. We use the past and be, but that is different, right? But right now, this is the present of be. Um, or is, only three forms. In questions, with all these questions, this is the formula that we follow, right? We begin with a WH word, that is the first part, right? With the question, then we have the verb be, the verb B, as we said before, is am um, or is. Then we have the subject, and we finish with a complement and a question, right? That's the way we structure a WH question. Okay? Give me a second. All right, a W-H word, the verb be, 
am or is plus the subject plus finally we have a complement with a question mark. Before to give you some examples with all these questions, I want to tell you, I want to inform you about this, right? We have all these words, what we call them like question words. So what are some WH words? For example, who, what, when, where, why, how. Those are the WH words. WH words. That is the first R, that is the first thing that we have in the question. Typically with WH questions, a WH word. So it can be who, it can be what, when, where, why, how. Those are the most common, right? Well, of course, we have more. In every WH word has a purpose, right? Has a purpose. If you use it in a question, it's because you want to, you have a purpose. You want to know something, right? You want to get some information about someone, about people, etc. For example, who? When do we use who? Who can be used, you know, by asking, I mean, you ask about first people, a person or people in general. That is the purpose, who? What? What is for asking about thing or idea? A thing or idea. So it can be an activity too, right? An activity too. When? When is used for asking about time? A time, right? For example, when you say um, today in the morning, um, you can say on Tuesday, on Saturday, at three o'clock, at 5.15 p.m., etc. So those are times. When? Where? Where is used for asking about place? Where, right? So we can say, for example, in Santa Ana, we can say in San Salvador, we can say in Brazil, we can say in Paris, at the park, at the university, who, etc. So those are some places, right? Where? Why? Why? is used for asking about a reason. So you ask for a reason. So you can say, because, for example, I am late because I am, there, there, there was a lot of traffic, right? That is a reason, that is a reason. And the last one we have how, how is used to ask about a way of doing something. In this case, it can be used for feelings, right? You want to ask for feelings. How are you? That is the most common question. How are you? How are you? And then you say, I'm good. I'm fantastic. I'm terrific, etc. That's where we use how. Okay? So these are the WH words, and those are the purposes, um, you know, that we include or we take into account when we use them, right? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Okay. Any questions so far? No. Very good. No question. Questions? All right, moving on to the following slide. Now, let me give you some examples with WH questions. Here we have some examples. Remember the formula. We have a WH word first, plus the verb be, which is am or is. That's a subject. Finally, we have a complement with a question mark. So we have, you know, different questions right here. For instance, what's your name? That's one of the questions, right? The W word that we're using is what? What's your name? 
So we're asking for a theme or an idea, right? To say over here, asking about theme or idea. What's your name? My name is Paul. Okay. What's your favorite color? So I'm asking you for a theme or an idea. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Okay. What's your favorite color, Susanna? My favorite color is green. Exactly, good. What's your favorite color, Leonel? My favorite color is uh, blue. Okay, my favorite color is blue. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Amazing. Wait, that's the first question. You know, we can have different questions. For example, what's your favorite food? Right? So we're using what? Again, we're asking for a thing or an idea. My favorite food is pizza. Right? What's your favorite food? Okay. What's your favorite food, Alexander? Favorite food. Uh, my favorite food is chicken. Chicken, okay, good. Yeah. Excellent. Well, as you can see, before to continue with the other examples, um, we have contractions with questions like this. So this equals, what is, it can be like words equals phrase. Food equals this. Okay. And we can continue. But we cannot say we can't do this because this is incorrect. So we can do that only with this form. What is? Where is? What is? Who is? Etc. Right? Be careful. This contraction is not possible. Okay, continue. What's your favorite food, Hazel? My favorite food is pizza, pizza. or chicken. Or chicken, good. Amazing. Hey, Jose Mari, what's your favorite food? My favorite pig is chicken. Okay, repeat again. My repeat again, Jose Mario. My favorite food. My, fa my, my favorite food is chicken. Yes, very good. Thank you. Okay, if that is the first question. What is the WH word, guys? What is the WH word? In the first question. What is the WH word? What? What? Yeah, what? And when do we use what? We use it for to ask. We use it to ask. Remember to ask a thing or an idea. What is the purpose? Let's go with where. Where's she from? What is she from? So now we're asking for a place. That is the purpose of this W4. Where? We're, we're asking for a place, right? Where's she from? What is she from? She's from Canada. She's from San Miguel. She's from Paris, et cetera, right? She's from San Salvador, okay? Where is she from? She's from Canada, right? What is the purpose? Where's you from? What about if I ask you a different question? Uh, where's your mother? Where's your mother? My mother is at home. Okay. So what is the place? You're asking for a place. The answer is at home, right? Uh, for example, what is your mother, Laura? 
My mother is at job. At work. At work. Okay. At work. All right. Good. Good. Um. Teacher, a yeah. question. Tell me. What is the different um job and work? Oh, that's a good question. Okay. Uh, when you say job, it's because you're talking about the occupation or the profession, right? If you say work, you're referring to, um, I would say the place, place, the location, right? Okay, your company. That is the difference. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, very good. For example, if you say um, occupation, can be a job can be doc doctor, right? And the word, in this case, the place, it can be the hospital, right? That's a way. Okay. Let's see, uh, Ricardo Albino, where is your mother? My mother, my mom is Salvadorian. Okay, okay. Yeah, very good, very good. Just remember that in that case is, what is your mother from? What is your mother from? My mother is from Salvador or my mother is Salvadorian. But right now, uh -huh. it, Right now, Ricardo, I'm asking you for a location. My mother is at home. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Very good. Thank you, Ricardo. You're okay. welcome. Let's go with another uh, question, right? Let's continue with who. When do we use who? Do you remember? What is the purpose of who? Who? Yeah. Yeah. Person. Exactly. We're at, we ask for people, for a person, etc. For example, who's Charlie? Who is Charlie? He is my classmate. He is my brother. He is my co-worker. He is my best friend. Then, who's Charlie? He is my classmate. Right? That's where we use who. What about if I ask you a different question? Who's, let me see, who's, let's continue with Shakira. Who's Shakira? She's a singer. Exactly. She's a singer. She's a singer. Very good. Um, Liliana, who's Tell me. Cristiano Ronaldo? Mm. Cristiano Ronaldo is player soccer? Yeah, he's a soccer player. Player. Well, yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo, or he is a soccer player. Very good. Um, what about another question? Joanna, who's Vin Diesel? He is Vin Diesel actor. Okay, you can say he is an actor. Or we can say, Joanna, Vin Diesel, Diesel is an actor. The both are correct. He an say, actor. Okay. Yeah. He is an actor, or you can say Vin Diesel is an actor. The both are correct. Yes. Ambos, ambos, eh, was, yeah, so ambos are son correct. Whether say he is an actor okay. or Vin Diesel is an actor. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Teacher, if me hubiera preguntado a mí, le hubiera dicho my husband. <laughs> okay, really? Do you like, do you like it? <laughs> okay, very good. I, I like. Okay, you like him. Very good. Yeah, he is a he is a good actor, right? He is a good actor. Very good. Okay, let's go with next. When? When do we use when? Do you remember? When? What is the purpose? Time. Cuando. Yeah. Time. Time. Yeah, in the Spanish you say cuando, right? Cuando. And that is about time. It, it asks for a time, for a specific time. 
A common question, a simple example is, when is your birthday? My birthday is in October. So we're given the time, a specific time. October, in October. The, the October. When is your birthday? For example, Enrique? October, my birthday is April. September 22. On September? Mm -hmm. Yep. When it, you say 22nd? What? Do you say 22nd? So uh, yep, 22, 22nd. 22nd, what yeah. What is the difference between, what is the difference between 22 and 22nd? I'm sorry, repeat again. What's the difference between 22 and 22nd? Okay, that's a good Let's question. Let's say 22 when I'm asking for my, when I'm, when I'm asking for my birthday. Very good, that's a good question. Okay, we say here 22, 22, and this is a cardinal number, cardinal number. Here we say 22nd, 22nd, and this is an ordinal number. So remember, ordinal numbers I use for dates, and your birthday is a date. That's why you use 22nd, not 22. If you use 22, it's because you're given a quantity. Quantity. For example, when you say, uh, I have, this is just an example, I have 20, 22 um, apples. I have 22 apples. This is a quantity. And the other one, when you say 22nd, it's because it's a date, like your birthday. My birthday is on October 22nd. Okay, that's the difference. Okay. Yeah, does that make sense? Yes. You're welcome. Okay. Let me see. Stephanie, when is your birthday? My birthday it is on March. 31. 31st. 31st, sorry. Yeah, no worries, no worries. 31st. Very first. Very first. It's the same because if you say 31, that is a current number. A current number. So we use current, current numbers for uh -huh. quantities, right? Yeah. For quantities. Okay. Any questions? Questions right here? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. No question. All right, thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's go with the last question. How, when do we use how? Do you remember what is the purpose of how? For example, how many? How many do you have? How many? How many? Oh, how, how many dollars do you have? Okay, yeah, that's a good example. But listen, how many? Asking about the way? Yeah, asking the way of doing something. That's what we use how. Very good. Listen, uh, thank you. How many is another WH word? This is different. This is different because we ask for a quantity. We ask for quantities. For, for cantidades, right? It's different. Yeah, so say how many dollars do you have? I have, I don't know, $50. $50. That's the way we use it. How many for quantities? But it's okay, yeah, because this is the only word. This is otra, otra palabra que utilizo para preguntas. How many? But in this case, how, just how. How, as someone said, we use it in order to ask about the way of doing something. Or you express feelings, emotions, etc. I ask you, how are your classes? How are your classes? You can say, I don't know, they're interesting, they're good. Uh, they're tired, etc. 
Okay. So that's where we use how. How. Okay. So right now we're using just all these questions with B, right? With B. Okay. Any questions right here? No question, teacher. Okay. Else? Okay, I have Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Good hello, afternoon. hello. Welcome, welcome to this Good program. Good afternoon, welcome to this uh, program, the module which is pre intermediate one. So I think you join us for the first time, right? So, no suena este día, verdad? Yes. Okay. Yes, this is the first. The last week I was a little sick. Okay, I got you, no problem. Eh, ya, yeah. uno de sus compañeros también me escribió por WhatsApp. Espero que sea buena ese día. O no se pudo unir tampoco por diversas situaciones, ¿verdad? Eh, well, nice to meet you, Michelle. My name is Hugo Vázquez. And I'm working with you in this case for pre-intermediate one. Eh, this is you know, what we have for today's class topic, the only question to be. We were discussing this previously, the formula that we follow. And remember, okay. Michelle, whenever you have any questions, just let me know, and I'm willing to help you. Okay, that's my, that's my objective, right? I have to help you and facilitate the Thanks. knowledge and all the content. Right? It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. No sé si escucho, eh, Ya se nos había unido, no, sí. no. It's a pleasure for me too. Okay, no sé si, thank you. No sé si ya se nos, no se preocupe, no sé si ya nos, se nos había unido cuando empecé a explicar eso. No, 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 no. Creo que no. Eh, no, porque vine tarde, vine tarde. Pero sí estaba, estaba eh, poniendo atención ahorita sobre lo que estaba explicando de la, de las cantidades, eh, de, del how, cuando es de cantidad y cuando se trata sobre expresar sobre algún o explicar sobre sobre la la, la pregunta en cuestión. Yes, yes. Okay. Very good, very good. Eh, just give me a second, guys, because I want to welcome Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Good afternoon. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm very fine. Amazing. Eh, again, you join us for the first time, right, Edgar? Yes, yes. 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 No problem. So I understand you. Thank you for joining Edgar. Eh, I just want to ask Michelle and Edgar one more time. Eh, ¿Es su primera vez que suben al programa? Disculpen. ¿O ya venían desde módulos anteriores? En especial Edgar y Michelle. Um, ¿Sí? Es primera, primera vez que estoy en el programa. Desde hmm. Basic One. Ah, yo, pero ellos son los módulos anteriores. Basic One, Basic Two. Two, three, yes. Sí. Ok, ok. En el caso de Michelle. Disculpe. Eh, en el caso de, mi, de la otra participante, Michelle, ¿sí? ¿es primera vez que se nos dio en el programa o, o ya venía desde los módulos anteriores? Eh, común, no, no, no. This is, no. This is my first time. I made oh, the test time. and they told me, yes, and they told me that. Bueno, creo que vas a hacer una 250. Eh, ¿Cómo sabes? Then I can. My, eh, in the. In the Intermediate bat, they don't have a they they don't have a scale, and I have to stay in this oh, in okay. this uh, level. Yeah, very good. I got you. But I'm but it, but it, but for me it's okay because it's it's like a um uh, I no recuerdo la palabra un repaso. Yeah, yeah. Porque yeah. he olvidado muchas cosas. Okay, okay, no problem. All right, uh, just let me let me explain something to you, Michelle. And guys, I just want to give you, I just want to ask you for, 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 for some time, right? I just want to explain something to, to Michelle. 
Solamente quiero explicar acá, en el caso de los que se nos unen por primera vez, ¿verdad? Los participantes que se nos unen eh, al programa por primera vez, ¿verdad? Eh, por eso hacía la pregunta en el caso de Edgar eh, y Michelle. En el caso de Edgar, Edgar, pues ya viene desde los módulos anteriores. Básico 1, o principio de 1, principio de 2, etc. En el caso de Michelle, que se nos une para, para este módulo, que es pre-intermedio 1, eh, solo comentar, Michelle, que nosotros nos basamos, trabajamos por medio de la plataforma. Creo que ya tiene acceso, ¿verdad? A todo. Tiene okay. su usuario, ¿verdad? A la plataforma, ya ingresó. Sure. Dígame. Uh, to cap check of the videos on YouTube. Yes, yes, the videos are on YouTube. So you can go there and you can watch the first classes, one and two. Los videos están subiendo, sí, al canal de YouTube. Así es que ahí los pueden ver en el caso de Edgar y Michelle, que se nos dieron la semana pasada. Eh, pueden ver las, las grabaciones ahí en YouTube, en el canal de YouTube. Y, sí, bueno, sé que les comparten la información, ¿verdad? Por, por correo. El, en el caso del el enlace para el canal de YouTube. En caso no lo tengan, me, me confirman, yo se los, los puedo compartir. Y también hacer la, la invitación en el caso de Michelle. No sé si... Ya se nos unió el grupo de WhatsApp, Michelle. Ok, teacher, thank you. Um, no, todavía no, todavía no. Sí, okay. thank you, thank you. Todavía no, el... me gustaría que me puedan dar, para, eh, que, me, el... que me agreguen. Ok, ¿tiene el, el enlace? ¿No se lo envió? No. No se lo comparto, no se lo pongo. Lo voy a compartir aquí en el chat de, de, okay. de, de Zoom, Michelle, el, el enlace para que usted solo le dé clic y se lo al, al grupo. En el correo okay. está un enlace directo para unirse a WhatsApp Group. Yeah, yeah. El es el que envían al correo, ¿no? Sí, son los que envían al correo. Thank you, sure. Aquí se lo comparto en el chat. You're welcome. Ok, continuando. Gracias. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Rapidito. Y eh, bueno, nuevamente, ¿verdad que tiene acceso ya a la plataforma, verdad, Michelle? Eh, yo no he podido entrar a la plataforma. No he podido. Ni okay. yo tampoco. No. Ok, bueno, no se preocupe. Eh, en cuanto se les haga posible, y bueno, de preferencia, les recomiendo que lo hagamos lo antes posible, porque ya iniciamos, ¿verdad? La semana pasada, el miércoles. Pero, bueno, sé que se nos unen a este día, ¿verdad? Solo hacer eh, énfasis en lo siguiente. En el caso de Michelle, que es su primera vez, quiero que ella se familiarice, ¿verdad? Con la plataforma. Y usted ingresa a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ok. Y va a ver acá los, los, en el caso, primera vez, va a ver lo siguiente. Solo va a ver el, el, el grupo o el equipo, ¿verdad? Que es inglés pre-intermedio módulo 1. Continuar el, con el curso. Y luego acá usted va a ver, va a ingresar al equipo o al grupo en la plataforma. Y le va a salir así. Le va a salir así. La plataforma, como son cuatro semanas, donde se es clase, tenemos cinco secciones. Eh, lo que usted debe hacer es ir trabajando en la plataforma eh, sesión, sección tras sección, ¿verdad? Obviamente, como les mencioné a sus compañeros en las clases pasadas, la semana pasada que iniciamos, se puede ir avanzando con la plataforma. No tiene ninguna restricción. Usted decide avanzar okay. hasta la yo, sección 2, sección 3, lo puede hacer. ¿okay? El propósito acá es que usted practique, que aprenda, y obviamente, bueno, que esté trabajando constantemente. Y lo más importante, okay. usted debe de mantener un, un, un porcentaje, ¿verdad? De nota en ese caso, porque al final lo que tiene un porcentaje de nota, que debe de ser eh, arriba del 80%. Para mantener el beneficio, ¿verdad? En ese arriba caso, de, perdón. De 80%. Ese okay. porcentaje debe estar arriba del 80%. No menos de 80, porque si no, pues ahí sí hay inconvenientes con respecto al beneficio. Eh, uh -huh. Igual con la, con la asistencia, ¿verdad? Estar siempre presente en las sesiones, en las clases. Las 16 clases vamos de lunes a jueves. Las semanas se han, pues, han desordenado un poco. Vamos de miércoles a martes, así que mañana termin terminaremos la primera semana. Y el miércoles iniciaremos la segunda semana ya. Si vamos con el tiempo, ¿verdad? Eh, pero las clases, en, por lo general, en inglés corporativo son de lunes a jueves. Y el viernes, pues, descansamos. No hay clases. Así es que usted, bueno, una vez ingresa acá, Michelle, 
va a haber las secciones. Ok. La, bueno, tú secciones, lo diría, de la sección 1, ¿verdad? Aquí va a ser en orden, va a haber un obje, objetivos, un video informativo, ¿verdad? Y eso va a ser, pues, con base en lo que veamos acá en las clases. Eh, luego un objetivo para los, para el siguiente contenido. Ejercicios, esos son los ejercicios. Usted debe de ir dando clic a cada uno, ir viendo cada uno, el video, luego otra vez acá el objetivo, luego el video, luego el ejercicio, 1.4 y acá hacen los ejercicios para completar. Luego continuamos y así sucesivamente hasta avanzar. Como repito, no hay ninguna restricción, ustedes pueden ir avanzando las secciones. Y ustedes, si ustedes terminan antes del tiempo, ¿verdad? Okay. Si terminamos las clases, eh, no hay ningún problema tener ninguna reflexión. Lo otro es con respecto a las evaluaciones. Hacemos un meter exam. Hacemos un final exam. El meter exam es el que se hace a mitad de módulo, es decir, en la segunda semana. La segunda semana. Y esto se hace en la, en la última semana, en la cuarta. Eh, eso se les, uh -huh. se, les, se les notifica, ¿verdad? Ustedes unos, unos días antes. Para que ustedes estén listos, obviamente si van avanzando, lo van a hacer antes. No hay ningún problema. Igual, si necesitan dudas, si necesitan ayuda, perdón, si tienen preguntas, dudas, ustedes solo me dicen por WhatsApp. Igual, para los ejercicios, si tienen alguna dificultad con los ejercicios, eh, probablemente no tienen la respuesta correcta, porque algo que se me olvidó de mencionar, Michelle, que cuando se hacen los ejercicios y, digamos, obtiene una respuesta mala, se puede volver a repetir. Puede hacer todos los intentos que usted desee. Ah. A manera de obtener la respuesta correcta. El propósito, repito, es practicar y obtener, obviamente, eh, las respuestas correctas para que pues, puedan tener un, un aprendizaje significativo. Es que usted puede intentar acá hacer los ejercicios cuantas veces usted quiera. Y okay. al final, pues, completamos toda la plataforma. Toda la plataforma debe ser completa. Y nos basamos solamente en la plataforma. ¿Ok? ¿Hay preguntas? Ok, perfecto. No. Ok. Well. Me, me queda claro, gracias. You're welcome. Nice to, again, nice to meet you, Edgar and Michelle. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks. Uh, we can, you're welcome. We continue with the class. Thank We're you, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. We continue working with WS questions. Like I said before, my name is Hugo Vasquez. WS questions would be that is the topic for today, pre intermediate one. And yeah, previously we were talking about the formula that we follow. We have a WS word. So these are some WS words who, what, when, where, why, how. And these are the purposes of these WS words. Esos es son los propósitos. El cual nosotros utilizamos esas palabras. WS words. For questions, right? And then we have the verb be. Am um, or is plus the subject plus a complement and the question, all right? And then we were giving some examples, right? What, who? So we use it to ask about person. What? We use it to ask about a thing or idea. When? We use it to ask about a time. Where? We use it to ask about a place or places, locations, etc. Why? We use it to ask about first a reason, sorry, a reason. And the last one is how. We use this one to ask about way of doing something. Then I was giving you the examples. Now this word. What's your name? My name is Google. Where's you from? What is you from? He's from Canada. Who is Charlie? So here we're asking for a person, right? Who's Charlie? He is my classmate. When is your birthday? So here we're asking for time. My birthday is in October. And then how? How are your classes? They're interesting. What is you from? So in this case, we're asking for a place, for a location. And the place, the location is. Canada, right? That's the way. It also, I was giving you this uh, with those WH questions. 
we tend to have a contractions, right? Wax equals what is? Where's equals where is? Whose equals who is? But if you say this way, if you use this way, that is incorrect. You cannot, you cannot say this. So you can do that with only with this. What is? What is? Who is? Where is? Etc. Right? Well, any questions again? Is everything all right? No question, teacher. Thank you. Um, Edgar and Michelle, especially, any questions? I'm not, teacher. No? Okay, let me know if you have any questions, please. We're going to practice with the following exercises. Do we have some exercises? Teacher, I'm sorry. I, teacher, I'm sorry. I, I, I was thinking the, the, the microphone was, was on, but it is, oh, okay. it's clear for me. Thanks. Uh, okay, okay, no problem. Thank you. Let's move on to the following part. Let's practice with the following exercises. What I want you to do in this exercise, I need you to choose, I need you to uh, select best dollish word in the blanks. As you can see on your left, on your left, you have the questions. On the right, you have the answers. What you have to do, you need to pay attention to the answers. Based on the answers, you're going to get the dollish words. This is the complete question, right? Okay, so these are the answers. Okay. So you have to use what, who, when, where, why, and how. For example, let's do the first one together. It, it is a pencil. What is it, the correct English word? What is the correct question? What? What, what is that? What? Exactly. Very good. Question is, what is that? It is pencil. It is a pencil. Very good. That's the first one. Okay. I will give you some time. What I want to do, I need you to continue with the other ones. Please pay attention to the answers. And you have to write just the double-edged word. Okay. Let's go. In your notebooks, let's start working. I will give you a few minutes. And then we're going to discuss together. Let's go. If you have any questions, just let me know. I can give you a hand. Teacher? Yep. Excuse Tell me. me. We, we must buy examples about that. Can you repeat again? Sorry. Uh, we must write example about that. Creo que se le está cortando el audio. Um, 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 we must to write examples about that. In no examples. You have to use these exercises. These exercises. What you have to do, Ana Silva, you need to write the correct, the complete question based on the answers. On the right, on your right, la derecha, okay. right? You have wow. the, the answers, okay. the questions. And then you have to select the, the correct okay. knowledge word. For the first one is, what is that? The answer is, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. is a pencil. Okay, thank you, yeah. sorry. You're welcome, no problem, no problem. Let's continue guys, continue working.
Yeah, I know that that is time, Carlos. Yeah. But we're going to finish just with the exercise, no problem. And in a few minutes, we're going to finish, okay? No problem. Finish. Good, good. Thank you. Okay, we're going to. I'm sorry? Don't teach you. Excellent, thank you. All right, we're going to start, guys. You're going to tell me the answers of these uh, questions, right? We're going to complete them. Uh, let's go with number one. Well, number one, we say, what is that, right? What is that? That is the correct value for. And it is a pencil. Number two, what was it for number two? Who? 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 Okay. Who? Who? Okay. Give me a second, sorry. Okay, number two, you said who? Yeah. But the answer is, they are my daughters. So we're asking for people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are those girls? That is the question. Number three, guys. What? When? 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 when. when. Very good. Very good. When? When? Because we're asking for, for time. When is your birthday? It is on March 15th. Yeah. Number four. Where? Why? 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 All right. Yeah. Why? Why are you here? I am here because I want to see you. I am here because I want to see you. That is a reason. Next, number five. Where? Where? Where, where I am. Okay. Yeah, very good. You are in Montreal. That is the answer. So Montreal is what is that? Montreal is a place. Yeah. Okay. It's a city. It's a city. It's a city, right? Very good. It's a city. Where am I? You are in Montreal. Number six. My bad. What? 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 Yeah. What's on the table? Excellent. So we're asking for an object. What is on the table? My back. My back. Number seven. Who? 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 Very good. Who? Who is your teacher, your English teacher? Mr. Andrew. That is the answer. Mr. Andrew. Mm -hmm. Number eight. What? 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 Yes. What is your telephone number? We're asking for the telephone number. We're asking for a thing. What is your telephone number? It's a O two 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 four five five six. Number nine. Why? 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 Okay. What is the answer? Because because, because he, he worked, worked hard. very hard. Exactly. So the question is, why is your father sick? My father is sick because he works. He works very hard. Very hard. And the last one, number 10. Who? Oh. Oh. Yes. What is the answer? He is my brother. Exactly. Who is that tall man? He is my brother. Perfect. Okay. So these are the answers, guys, for the exercises. Very good job. Any questions right here? This is the way we use WH questions, and we ask questions, right? Perfect. I just, I just see the how uh, it doesn't use in this yeah. example. Yeah, exactly. So in these exercises, we, we don't have one of them with how, right? Exactly. But it's okay. It's okay. 
Okay. Abroad. Probably, probably a question can be, like I said before, uh, how, how are your swimming classes, for example? The answer can be, <laughs> they are amazing. How are your swimming classes? Okay. They are amazing. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Um, again, any questions? Can see it right here. Any a question. All right. Well, everybody. Okay. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Uh, we're going to finish right here. Uh, this is all for today. Uh, remember. If you have any questions about the platform, just let me know. And of course, I'm willing to help. I'm going to give you support, right? In caso tengamos algún, eh, alguna dificultad, recuerden con la plataforma, con las sesiones, que solo me informan por WhatsApp, recuerden enviar capturas si es posible, o por lo menos especificar que sección es, ¿verdad? Con el día, sección 1.4, sección 1.12, sección 2.6, etc para saber cuál sección es la que nos está dando alguna dificultad, pues con gusto les va a ayudar, ¿ok? Bueno, si lo quieren transmitir acá en okay. las clases, con gusto también. Ok, guys. Well, eh, we're going to finish right here. Um, thank you so much for being here. We're starting the week. And, uh, yeah, we're having more classes. I will see you tomorrow, guys, with a new class. Thank you so much again. Have a good day. Stay safe and many blessings to you and your family. Thank you, sister. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Solamente me envían el link para el WhatsApp. Bye. Michelle, oh. en, el, en el chat de, de Zoom está. No sé si lo copió. Ah, ok. Eh, yeah. No, ya voy a revisar. Sí, ok. No se preocupe. See you tomorrow. Muchas gracias. It's a pleasure. Thank you, too. Bye-bye. 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 Goodbye.